Hi everyone, in today's video we will see how to fix Meta Horizon app not working, crashing and stuck on loading screen. So here is how you can simply fix this problem. So the fixed one is to restart the app. Okay, you can simple if your app is open. Then you can simple close the app completely and then reopen the app again. Okay, to completely you can simple remove it from also a recent screen. Okay. Then you can simply try to open it again. Okay, if still you are facing an issue, then you can simply update the application. Ensure that you are using the latest version of the Meta Horizon app. Okay, so you can simply go to the Play Store. Then once you open the Play Store, you can simply search here Meta Horizon. And now here you can simply click on update to update the application. Okay. And once the up the update is finished, you can simply open the app again. Okay. The fix three is to clear app and cache. Okay. So the clearing the app cache can help resolving the issue caused by the corrupt data. Okay. So you can simply long press on a app. Then. Go to app info. Here you can simple go to storage usage. Okay. Now here you can simple click on clear cache. Okay. The step four is to check the app permissions. Ensure that the app has the necessary permissions to function correctly. Okay. So in a uh, app info, you can simple go to permissions. And now here you can simply check that the app having a sufficient permissions, okay, that they want. And then if not, so you you can simply provide them a permission. Wait. You can again long press on the app. Then go to app info. Now here go to permission, and then allow them the permission like camera access, okay allow while using the app okay microphone access okay so give them the permissions okay and the final step is to uninstall and reinstall the app so if the issue persists uninstalling and reinstalling the app can resolve this issue the crashing issue so to do you can simple go to home screen now here long press on our app and then click on uninstall to uninstall the app and then again go to google play store or app store to install the new app okay so these are the steps that can help you to fix this problem goodbye